My dear brothers and sisters in the Lord, I want to bless God of heaven who make it possible for me to be alive this morning. I want to thank God for the second chance God has given me to tell the world what I witnessed after, after midnight prayer. The message that you are about to hear, I speak not, but I speak as I was given the morning message. After the midnight prayer, before the midnight prayer, I received a message from America, the message you are going to hear right now. Please, our sister dear, I send you the message. I want you to read that letter that I sent to you, please, before I continue my, my testimony. Those are half ear, let them hear. Wherever where you are seeing this message, please endeavor to share this video to all the people in the world that they may know what is ahead of them. That they may hear that the Lord is speaking, not I, but Lumi. I don't give a fake rumors, but I give. Heaven bear me witness. I give a message as I receive. As I'm talking to you this morning, my heart is full of tears. My heart is full of sorrow. What is happening in the world today? Dear brothers and sisters in the Lord, pay attention to the message you are about to hear. But don't hear this information alone without passing it to people. If you do that, if you do that, Christ will be happy with you. But if you did not share this message to your people, it will be offended to Christ. Please. Sister, go ahead and read that message that I sent to you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Lord Bartholomew, thank you for applying to join Global Giving. My name is Lana, and I have received Good Morning Jesus Family Foundation application. Unfortunately, we are unable to approve your application because your organization does not meet the requirements of global giving faith-based activities policy. Mm -hmm. Your organization activities or mission require a social had hands to or conversion to a religious doctrine. Promote a particular faith-based belief or support evangelism or prosticizing. Pro, 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 pro Given this, we are unable to approve your application. Mm -hmm. I wish you the best of luck with your future endeavors. Best regards, Ilana Giving and the Global Giving Team. Praise the Lord. Amen. Sister Florence, turn with me in the book of John, in the book of Matthew 5, starting from verse 3. Who can tell me why was that application rejected? Why was that application rejected? Because of, the, because of the doctrine we are preaching. Because I'm preaching Christ and they deny me. Why did they know why would they not deny me if they deny my father Jesus? Who am I for they not to deny? Mm -hmm. After my after my prayer, I read a message that I received from them. After reading that message, I was crying to the Lord. Making making argument to the Lord. Why this message? Why did they send me this message? 
I was make, I was making supplication to my Lord. I was talking to him. I was bringing argument to him. I was making him to understand why the message, why this message should be changed. He brought me to the book of Matthew. Let's read Matthew 5, verse 12. Matthew 5, verse 3 says, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who are more, the poor shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and taste after righteousness, for they shall be food. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is kingdom of heaven. 11. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which we are before you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Brethren, they didn't reject me because I'm evil man. They didn't reject me because what they need I could not give to them. But they reject me because I'm preaching gospel. They reject me because I'm telling the people the truth. After uh, when I was when I was praying, I was bringing all those arguments to God. Why all those things will happen? I told myself I'm not going to sleep. Until the Lord gave me a message. I didn't sleep. I was talking to my Lord in prayer. Making him to understand. But guess what? I fell into a transit. I don't know how I fell into this transit. But I arrived in a place. In a very big mansion. I don't know how many meter, how many kilometers will I call the house in so completed building. And I was this idea. Oh, let me I will run to this side, run to this side, run to this side. I was in big, big room. I was asking myself question, what am I doing here? What am I doing? But nobody could answer me. Nobody could talk to me. Nobody, nobody is there. It's only me. But the only thing that I was hearing, I was hearing the sound of coming of somebody. I was hearing the great sound. But, but everywhere, I was hearing this great sound. I was hearing the sound. Rain was coming. Whether fire was coming. I have to bow down on my knee. Begin to ask for mercy. Begin to ask for mercy. I said, bow down on my knee as I fell on my knee. Instantly, what happened? It's like a screen appeared. One appeared, another one appeared. It was two. It was there. I was I was watching. What I was seeing, it was heaven. Everything that is going on in heaven, it was displayed to me. I was seeing what is happening in the heaven. I was taught that the master is about to talk to me, that I have to prepare, <laughs> that I should be watching, I should not be distracted. I was what I was watching, I was watching. I see one of the angels, he removed the curtain. Oh, as he removed the curtain, what I what I saw that Christ was weeping. Christ is weeping. Seriously. Christ is weeping. Seriously. Christ is weeping. Seriously. 
I begin to ask why is he crying? Why? Why is he crying? I don't know what to do. I mean, why is he crying? Why? Why is he crying? Why? I was asking. Why is he crying? Why is he crying? I he said, oh, he's ready. Oh, he's ready, but people are not prepared. Oh, he's ready. Christians are not prepared. <laughs> Christians are after the things on the wall, but oh, he's ready. The world is about to destroy, but nobody prepared. <laughs> nobody prepared. Christ was a big tears, serious one was coming, but nobody prepared. People did not prepare. Nobody. <laughs> nobody prepared. Nobody. Nobody prepared. Nobody. Nobody prepared. No preparation. No preparation. No preparation. Baby. No preparation. No preparation. No preparation. People did not prepare. Christ is weeping because of the people that we miss out of heaven. Baby. Baby. When I see the tears, I fell on my knees. I fell on my knees. I fell on my knees. What I heard that it is done. It is done that we should go into the war. Make the people to understand that all is done. <laughs> that all is done. All is done. Oh, he's done. <laughs> but how prepared are you? When, when the whole team, when I return back instantly, I return back. As I return back, my heart flew away. I heard the voice because the house, the house was completed to the after they have finished the meeting, the meter level. But what remains is to roof the house. I get a great feeling that that is my house in heaven, that I have no roof my house. That I need to do, I need to go more of evangelism. That I need to go more of telling people the, the gospel. <laughs> that they may repent. Baby, how foolish are you? <laughs> how foolish are you that the person that created you? You have told him against him. But then all is done. 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 But where will you spend your eternity? Where will you spend your eternity? But I tell you the truth. I lie not. That the Christians today are not ready. Christians today are unprepared. Christians today are for showing the things of this world, for showing money. Christians today are become so centered. Christians today are become so heartless. They don't know who they are following. They don't know Jesus. But they claim they know Jesus. But where will you spend your eternity? Brethren, that was the message I received this morning. I'm telling you, the time is off. The time is off. But where will you spend your eternity? Where will you spend your eternity? Have you counted the cost? If you should miss heaven? Ooh. Have you counted the cost? If it's a goodbye to you? Ooh. Have you counted the cost? After you have gained the whole world on your own? Have you counted the cost? Where you are going to spend your eternity? Have you counted that you have the opportunity to hear the truth and you make caricature with your life? Those that have ear, let them hear. That is a message I have for you this morning. 
by the grace of God before I continue other message that I need to give. But this is the message I received this early morning that I should give to the whole world that they should prepare. Otherwise, you will likewise perish. Think about your life. 